Okay, so now that we have talked about the confidence interval with respect to proportions, let's go ahead and expand into the confidence bounds. So remember, the confidence bounds, confidence level, is equal to, okay, we're still going to do p hat. This time we're going to do either plus or minus. So let's do minus z crit. Okay, and this is going to be with, I'll put in a just bracket, alpha times, and I'm going to just go ahead and copy this out. And let's copy and paste this. Okay, and I'll change that to a plus. Okay, so here we've got two different scenarios. Let me pull these down. So this one is that you use if you want to say greater. And the one down here is if you want to say less. So in some scenarios, we want to throw all of our error to one side or the other. So let's go ahead and look at our normal distribution, the one that we plotted again. I'm just going to plot the same one. So last time, when we talk about confidence intervals, we throw some of this error on the top and the bottom. But if we want to do a confidence bound, sometimes we say, hey, we don't care about being uh, less than, so we can throw all of our error to one side, on to the top end. Okay, so if we throw all of the error onto the top end, we can say, hey, we're 95% confident that we're less than some value. So we do this p hat plus the z crit and say that we're less than that point. If we're greater than, we can say, hey, we're going to throw all of this error to the bottom side and say, hey, we're, we're uh, confident that we're going to be greater than some low value. It's a little counterintuitive, I know, um, but it, it does make sense. Okay, so now in order to do our confidence bounds, uh, let's say that Janet is wanting to say that she is, we'll say that now Janet just wants to be 95% confident that, that her factory is producing defects less than some value. Okay, so we need some new things now. We need a new Z crit. And the reason is because we're throwing all of this error, this alpha, to one tail. So let's actually do a picture of this so that we can see it. Let's go to normal. Let's plot it again. And so what we're actually going to do is we're going to say 0.95. And then we'll just have this be, I think, blank. I think that'll work. Let's say apply. Nope, that did not work. Looks like i got to give it a value. Uh, we'll say from... Uh, Give me a second, it'll be like 0 0.00001. It's got to be really close to zero. And then two, I wonder if I, give me a second. 0 0.95, okay. Okay, so here's our distribution again. So now we have thrown all of our error to the right side and say, hey, we want to say that we're 95% confident that we are less than some value. Okay, so we need a new Z critical. Let's go to our distributions, continuous, normal, go back to the quantiles, and this time let's do 0 0.05. I could put in 95, but just, just work with me just for a second. So I'm going to click OK and we get this negative value. If I had put in 0.95, it would have been the same thing, just positive. And I'm only going to copy the positive portion. I want to copy that, come in, and I want to paste it in the Z critical. Okay, so now I've got everything that I need for this uh, less than confidence bound. So I'm going to say confidence bound, and I'm going to say this is, this is an upper bound. And this is going to be equal to p hat plus z critical times our standard error. All right, now I need to put in a new 
um, statement. Now, the handy thing is, is it's almost exactly the same. I'm going to say that we are 95% confident that the true proportion of defects in Janet's factory is less than 0 0.140. Okay, so we have to kind of decide this at the beginning if we want to do an interval or if we want to do a confidence bound. But it's kind of cool. If we do the confidence bound, let's take a pit look at this picture again. We'd say that, hey, we are 95% confident that the true proportion of defects in Janet's factory is less than uh, 14%. Um, and so that's, that's how you do this one. We know that this is a one-tail test because we've thrown all of our error over to just one side. So hope that helps you out. Good luck.